Hey crew, welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can see by the title, this is a what I pack for my layover video. So if you're interested in what I bring or want to know, stay tuned. So first things first is what luggage do I use? I typically use, I switch between multiple bags, but the one that I use the most is Travel Pro. It is a brand that is known by crew and a lot of crew members use it. Um, I can link it down below and you can check it out if you're interested, but I use a Travel Pro roller, roller board bag. And basically I have like staple items that I pack on every layover whether it's domestic or international you guys both you guys know that I work both international and domestic trips there are some staple items that come with me on every single trip no matter the length the destination or any of that and we'll get into that shortly but the first thing I do when I am deciding to pack for a layover is check the weather I say this in pretty much every vlog when I'm planning and I'm speaking to you before I've actually started working the trip is I'm checking the weather to see what I need I need a ballpark of like what the temperature is going to be depending on if it's a domestic or international trip typically domestic trips I have two layovers because I mostly work three-day trips and I have two different layovers unless it's a long um, one layover three-day trip but I look at the weather for every destination I'm supposed to be laying over and staying I need to know because say I'm going somewhere cold and then the next day I'm going somewhere hot I need to be prepared for both climates. Fun fact for those of you who may not be familiar, familiar with the aviation industry typically US carrier cabin crew or in-flight crew or flight crew however you want to term it are only allowed to bring carry-on size items that is different to international carriers where some of them are allowed to check a bag and also have a carry-on items that they bring or carry-on bag that they bring with them onto the plane that's not the case for us so all of our items need to be with us in cabin at all times there are some exceptions to that rule depending on if the aircraft can accommodate luggage but that's specifics and we don't really need to get into that so that's something that you have to keep in mind when packing because everything needs to fit into that carry-on bag and with that I try to plan a more casual outfit and something that can be built up to be more dressy for those of you who watch me you know that I typically don't go out on my layovers a lot but I'm trying to change that and explore whether it's domestic or international so I try to have options with me but the biggest key is packing smart you do not have the space or the flexibility to bring options upon options with shoes and purse and bag and stuff like that you need items that are versatile and can be used for different you know settings and for different uses aside from typical toiletry items that you would typically use on every trip I have a few staple items that always stay in my bag like I said before no matter where I'm going number one which will always be plugged in my videos is shower shoes I cannot stress the importance of shower shoes um, you do not want your bare skin touching the showers in the hotels if you can help it so that is something that I always bring with me you can go on Amazon and find shower shoes you can go to Walmart you can go to Old Navy doesn't Old Navy typically have like a one dollar flip-flop sale or something like that those don't take up a lot of space pack yourself some shower shoes number two is sneakers like I said, I try to pack a casual in a more dressy outfit. For the casual outfit, I always pack a pair of sneakers so that I'm comfortable. If I'm going out to explore, that means I'm moving around, that I'm walking, I'm riding public transportation, I'm Ubering, but I'm moving around. So I need to be comfortable when I'm doing that. And I always pack a pair of sneakers no matter where I'm going. The pair that I try and pack, I'm trying to keep in mind of my space, is vans they're comfortable to me they don't take up that much space but I do try and switch it out every now and then um, but keep that in mind when you want to pack something is that is it bulky is it going to take up a lot of space because we're limited on space the next thing that I bring is a purse now that may not be specific to gender males you know you can carry around a satchel a messenger bag because you need to bring your things with you, you need to be prepared so 
I typically bring a small bag in my tote bag um, that I have on my J hook of my rollerboard. But I want to shout out Teddy Blake for sending me a purse that is my new layover purse that I absolutely love. And that is the Ava 9 inch with the gold hardware. It is small enough that I can place it right on top of my packing cubes and if I need to place anything in it while it's in my rollerboard that's extra space that I can utilize and it still gives me space to put my camera my ID my wallet my hotel keys whatever I need while I'm exploring and I like that it has removable straps if I want to wear it across my body or if I want to hold it in a more formal way or on my shoulder I have the flexibility of doing that depending on what the vibe is or what setting I'm going out in because like I said I try and bring a casual outfit and something that can be built up to be more dressy. I picked the black version of this bag because black goes with everything and it is versatile depending on what I'm doing. As you know, Fly the Tenants, we are on the go. Everything is changing. We have to be palm trees and go with the wind and go with the flow. And black works for me, but Teddy Blake has all different types of colors, shapes, sizes, smaller bags, bigger bags. If you're a person who likes a bigger bag to bring more things, they have that for you. If you're someone like me who likes a medium to small bag, they have those options for you. So I would definitely recommend for you guys to check them out and find a bag that fits you. For those of you who are not familiar with the Teddy Blake brand, Teddy Blake is a luxury designer handbag brand that specializes in providing you quality premium Italian leather handbags at a more affordable price. Teddy Blake creates handbag designs for every style choice and if you don't see a style that fits you just yet, subscribe because they release new collections every month. If you're interested in checking out Teddy Blake, I have a discount code for the crew members linked below in the description box. And the last thing that is a big staple for me is like a raincoat or a jacket, depending on the weather. Um, you know, you may not live in an area that experiences winter, but being a flight attendant, you surely will fly to an area that experiences winter. So you need to be prepared. I always have a foldable raincoat in my bag that never comes out of my bag depending on if it's summer, spring, winter, fall, it doesn't matter. It's always in my bag. And depending on the season, I will have a foldable coat. So I buy mine from Uniqlo, but you can find a foldable or compact raincoat or jacket or coat anywhere. And it doesn't take up that much space. Plop it in one of your little zipper pockets and forget about it. And it's always there. As far as the specifics for my outfits, I try to bring something that is comfortable for my chiller or my more casual outfit, whether that is an active wear set or some jeans and a comfortable t-shirt. And with that, like I've been stressing is that you have to use your space wisely. I bring a pants, if possible, that can be worn dressed down in a more casual setting and also be built and dressed up in a more formal or um, going out setting, you know, so that I have the flexibility of having different options, outfit options, but also I have the space in my bag. Because one thing that is a backbreaker is lifting the bag into the overhead bin, bringing it back down, changing planes, lifting the bag into the overhead bin, bring it back down, rolling it through the airport. So I try and limit the amount of things that I bring because I'm the one lifting the bag. You pack it, you stack it. I live by that term. So to preserve my back, I try and pack smart. Just a personal preference for me is I like using packing cubes. I buy my packing cubes from Amazon. I will link them down below. I use the brand Gonex. They come in an assorted pack with different sizes, different shapes. They are expandable, so it gives you the flexibility. If you do need those extra options, you have the option of expanding the bag to fit more clothes. Not everyone is into packing cubes. I like the organization and knowing that um, everything has its own place and I know where everything is um, but if you're interested in that make sure you check the link 
all right crew so that's the end of this video i hope my tips were useful for what i pack for my layovers and i will see you guys in a video soon stay safe and see you soon Thank you.